Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. And today I am outside in the bee yard. I just finished installing a package of bees for this hive here. Okay, now I got that package of bees. I got that package from Man Lake Bees. And the package came in, the package looks so strong, right? It looks so strong, it was full of bees, very few bees. Um, on the inside were dead so I was so excited right and I brought them home and um, and you know it was supposed to rain today I'm like so this is a great day for a package of bees to come in <laughs> but once I opened uh, the package and got ready to get them installed y'all have seen me install packages before y'all these bees here are super aggressive now I was working this hive over here and I was being attacked by bees from over here. They are super, super aggressive. Y'all, I had hundreds of bees on my head and on my back. And my gloves and jacket and hat were full of stingers after I finished installing those bees, right? And you know you try to spray them with a little syrup to keep them calm while you go through the whole process? That did not help. <laughs> I know some bees and these are all Italians, right? In fact, I had to call Man Lake and ask them, I mean, is it a possibility <laughs> that these are not Italians and maybe the more aggressive Russians or uh, the carnies? But I thought the carnies were docile as well, right? But they said that, no, it's absolutely Italians. And I'm, okay, but these are some seriously aggressive bees. So I know some bees are more aggressive than others, depending upon the queen, because she determines those things, right? <clears throat> so I know these bees, that's probably, that was with the queen that was in there. I know that they probably are a mix of bees from different hives that were all put in a package together to be shipped and a mated queen was sent okay the queen arrived doa and of course the way they do it at man lake they put them in the little plastic um queen cages with the little cap on but i'm wondering were they so aggressive that they did they sting her to death or something i don't know because she was just balled up in the cage. She just, you know, they don't put nurse bees inside. They have to take care of her from the outside of the cage. It's what they explained to me when I called to ask some questions. So you all, y'all know I'm going to ask questions. If I don't understand or need some information, <laughs> I'm going to call and ask some questions. And I still have my jacket on because although I'm away from the hive, they will still come out. They were all over my truck. See what I'm saying? They're still flying around my ears right now. But they were all over my truck. And my truck was parked. My truck was parked behind the camera. Okay? And they were all over my truck when I installed them. You would think that once you install... It's a gnat in here getting on my nerve. You would think that once you install them and you put the box down, they would try to march into the hive with the queen. No. Mm -mm. They were coming at me. <laughs> so, um, and there's still a lot of them out there on the ground even. And there's still a lot of them at the box. I just put in that second box that you see on the top. I'm going to take you over there and show you. But it's a hive top feeder. Now, I have to say... The hot top feeders I got from, where did I get those from? Man Lake. I got those from Man Lake too. And the frame feeder, it sits in the hive like a frame would sit in the hive. Those feeders are phenomenal. Where have they been since I started this journey? I don't know. But those little feeders that you, the entrance feeders, and then the um, these little circle feeders that you pour the liquid in the little white feeders and you put the lid on, you sit it on top. Uh-uh. These feeders, I got a hive top one in this one. 
and I got a frame feeder in this one. And I'm thinking you all about adding a second frame feeder and y'all can tell me if I need to do this or not, but I have a frame feeder in the first hive body here. And then in the deep on the top, you all, I'm thinking about putting another frame feeder in there because they are going through like two gallons almost. Yeah, two and a half gallons is what it holds. So they're going through two gallons of syrup in a matter of two and a half days. Let me explain. Okay, I'm going to walk you over then and explain it to you. So I'm going to go ahead and take you over to the hives. And then I'm just going to kind of show you what I mean with these other bees here. And then we'll talk more about that second hive. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to apologize for the camera shaking ahead of time. But this hive right here, you all, is the more aggressive hive right here. Okay, as you can see, the bees are very active. They're still on that box down there. And actually when I took this out to put the hive uh, top feeder in, a lot of the bees would not leave that uh, cover. So I just had to sit it there to give them an opportunity to realize that they were no longer with the queen. And then I filled the hive top feeder with syrup, okay? But these are the ones that just came in on today okay now the reason why this looks like this i'm gonna explain it i'm gonna take you over here <laughs> so i ordered two new packages of bees from mountain sweet honey remember i ordered from them last season remember what happened right so this time i said let me try again maybe it was something i did wrong even though i couldn't figure it out maybe it was something i did wrong so I ordered two packages of bees from Mountain Sweet Honey again. Now, what I did was I moved the honeycomb hideout all together just in case um, it was an issue with maybe trees or bushes surrounding the hives and that's why they absconded the way that they did. So I brought them over here and the only tree here is that one little cedar, that's it. Everything else, there's nothing. They're, they're out in the open. All right, so there were two packages that I ordered from them. I had a package here, and I had a package here. This was uh, roughly two and a half weeks ago, okay? Two and a half weeks ago. Those just came in today. These were about two and a half to three weeks ago, all right? Y'all, <laughs> so let me tell you what happened. Did they leave out of that box? Over here, yeah, they left out of that box right there. But they all went over here. The queen, they left her. She was still alive. She was doing well. They left her in the hive. They left her there and they came over to this hive. And that's why you all, the hive is growing at the rate it is growing with the amount of bees that's in this hive. My biggest concern at this point is that the hive, they are doing excellent, is full of nectar. I don't see any larva at all, okay? None. So that's my biggest concern right there. I was looking for the queen, trying to find her in a hurry. I did not see her but I don't see any larva in any of the cells at all. So the, it's kind of overcast. So I didn't want to spend too much time in that hive. So I decided to just, I'll look another day and see if I can come back and find some brood in there. Okay, so we'll see. But any, anywho, we're going to get from out here so I can take this jacket off. I'm hot. And then we'll talk more. All right, y'all. Now that I'm away from the bees with the attitudinal problem, <laughs> I have to do that for the mother bees because, you know, like I'm doing an afro. <laughs> Some of y'all don't know what I'm talking about, but, you know, we used to have them big old afros, right? I know my mama gave me one. <laughs> 
make sure I don't have any, you know, hitchhikers because I'm telling you, them, them bees with attitude over there, they, why is he all the way over here? See what I'm saying? He all the way over here. Still trying to get me. I don't know where he went, but he's still trying to get me, y'all. She. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Is she on my back? Oh. Whew. But anywho. Trying to get out of it. <laughs> okay. Y'all, I mean it. They were after me. It's hot out here too. They were after me. The back of my jacket. See all that? Look at the back of my hood. Showing y'all how how they came at me. I don't know if y'all could see all of that, but I mean, they really came at me. I had stingers all in my all in my glove, you all. But anyway, so now that I'm from over there, I could talk better. You all, all of the bees that came in together from Mountain Sweet Honey, they all left that one hive. They left the queen. Now, they were uh, tacked together. You know, when you order more than one package, they will tack them together with these two pieces of wooden bars, top and bottom, so they traveled together. And so I'm thinking that the pheromones from Queen A... Okay, I got bees around my... Let me get them some space. They still going after their jacket. They going after the jacket now. I guess because the scent from the other bees stinging the jacket may still be on that jacket, but down the jacket. So, anyway, you all, I guess the pheromones from that, from Queen A, was stronger than the pheromones from Queen B from Hive B, okay? So they all, once I put them all in the hive and gave them all syrup and all of that, I came back out here. I came back out exactly one hour <laughs> because I said, if they're gonna do anything, I'll know within the first few hours. So in an hour I came back and they were gone from that hive. And I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. So, <laughs> I saw all of the activity around Hive A. And I'm like, is it possible? And when I opened the hive, the hive was packed with bees. That one hive body was packed with bees. And I said, okay. They all left her and came over here. So, Queen Bee died because I still left her in the, I still left her in the hive because there were some bees that stayed behind with her. Probably a hundred bees was with her and all of the others were gone. And so I was gonna see what they were gonna do. You know, when I came back out um, the following day, all of the bees had left, no, two days later, all of the bees had left her, she was dead, the nurse bees were dead and all of the bees were in hive A. So hive A, is pretty powerful right now and so when that happened I reached out to lead farmer mr. H and I we reached out to him and um, he let us know that sometimes one queen is stronger than the other her scent may be stronger than the other but what we were gonna have to probably be doing real soon was adding another box 
because of that, right? So, um, maybe five days ago, I added, no, four days ago, I went ahead and added that extra, that other hive body. And when I added that other hive body, I added some feed. So maybe it hasn't been four days. Maybe it's just been about three days, almost three days. And so I went back out there and added the hive body. I filled them up with syrup. Okay. Came back out here. <laughs> syrup was done, gone. But a lot of them had moved up into the second hive. Now, mind you, I added the frames from the beehives that were all that had drawn comb on them. And so it was easy for them to get in and go to work. And that's exactly what they've done. So hive, I'm not sad about that, by the way. Let me just say that. I'm not disappointed that that's what they did. Because the only thing that happened was it just gave me a real strong hive to start with. Okay? Which takes me to my next point, you all. <laughs> Barnyard Bees sells these bee packages where they're double the package, right? It's like they can sell double packages, triple packages. They can sell that with only one queen. And I said to myself when I saw that last year and this year, and I said, I'm not trying that. It'll be just my luck <laughs> that all of the bees will leave anyway, you know? And so when I thought about it, I'm like, I don't know. It may work, but I'm not sure. I'm not ready to try that. I'm still fairly new to beekeeping, you know? So I decided that I wouldn't try that, even though everything in me was saying, do it. I'm like, no, do it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> this has just proved to me that it absolutely positively would have worked because their package bees would have been shipped together with one queen and that's how it would have started right so you live and you learn so now i know they're sold out of their packages and whatnot for the season but if barnyard bees was not sold out i would love to have gotten a double from them this season if if it would have been possible but i decided to try um Man Lake, this is my first time getting bees from them. Them little attitude bees. It's my first time getting bees from them. The bees from Mountain Sweet Honey, um, I got them. I'm very pleased with them so far. They're just seem they doing a lot of work, but I don't know if that queen is laying because I don't see there's I don't see any brood in that box at all. So I don't know. I'm gonna go back in when it's not kind of overcast because you know, we were supposed to have some storms to come in today, but I guess the forecast changed and now it's going to be tomorrow. So I'm going to wait till after the rain and go back in and do a more in-depth hive inspection. See if I can locate the queen. Now that's the one thing I wished um, that we could have gotten a marked queen, but they don't carry marked queens at Mountain Sweet Honey or at Man Lake. <clears throat> but I could get a marked queen from Barnyard Bees, I believe. Yeah, Barnyard Bees will give you, send you a marked queen for like an extra five bucks or something. It doesn't even take much to mark them. You just get them, put a dot on their back, and that's it. And I've seen them do it in the videos, so it, it's not a, it's not a big process or nothing like that. They just put a little dot, so it makes it easy for you to remember the year that you got the queen. But it also makes it super easy for you to spot her when you're doing your hive inspections. And for people like me who need an extra set of eyes and um, still learning, Mark Queens really help. But I'm learning to locate the queen, though, without the mark. But you all, I just wanted to take you all along with me and just talk to you about the bees. Yes, all of the bees last season, one day they just absconded. I have no idea why and I was so brokenhearted I couldn't even talk about it so <laughs> now you know what happened to those bees that we had in the garden area so all we did was take them from the garden area move them behind um, the goat house here and they're just there's 
not, no bushes or anything around them. So hopefully that works. We'll see. Okay. But anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. Oh, I'm going to talk to y'all real quick about Azure Standard in the next video, you all. Okay. Because this one is long enough. But here we go again. The 2022 B season is well underway. And I didn't even show me installing the B packages because you all have seen seen us do that several times. But I am going to be showing you and taking you along as things progress. But that hive, hive A, is full of nectar. I mean, from it's just loaded right now, and the boxes are heavy. Hey, felt like something just stung me. <laughs> But anyway, you all, so we got Hive A, Hive B is empty, and then we have Hive Attitude, okay? <laughs> hive Attitude. So I wanted to have um, three to four hives this season. Since the two combined, that gives us the one, and then we got the other Attitude Hive, that gives us two in case something happens. But y'all, that's going to do it. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. Day where we look at the bees for 2022 i'm super excited about this all right so y'all just post in the comment section below are you raising bees are you a part of the uh save our bees program and that lead farmer and lady lead has going on on their channel and if you are not into beekeeping think about it consider it i think you would like it i think you would really enjoy it you know it's quite rewarding to go out and see the progress and all of the work that these little bees are putting in they're doing such a great job them bees are all over my jacket they still trying to sting my jacket <laughs> i'm gonna have to wash it <laughs> but thank you all so much for joining me today thank you for watching homestead heart if you haven't done so go ahead and subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell don't miss any videos that we upload to our channel thank you all again for watching peace and blessings each and every one of you see y'all in the next video